hello everyone, this is Leo from the Pandalorians, and today we're going to be going over the legendary Excelsior PvP build. So, if you like this video and you want to see more, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Okay, so this picture shows a complete overview of the whole build. So what we'll do now is we'll go into a little bit more detail. Right, so let's take a look at the gear. Now I've gone with single beams. Why? Because I'm a cruiser and cruisers don't have much turn. So there's no point put me putting on dual beam banks and competing like an escort because everyone's still going to outturn me. Okay, so the first weapon on the left is a piece of polar one. Now, uh, when you activate beam overload, because this is a beam overload build, you will get an extra ability called technical overload, which is really, really good in PvP. Okay, so deflector, we've gone with a colony deflector, which adds some crits, and I've also modded it for extra hull. Now, if you wanted to make this more tanky, another option would be to add the Delta Deflector from the Reputation Store as that adds extra healing and also HP. Impulse Engines, I've got the prevailing fortified ones so every time I activate a heal I'm going to get a speed boost. Warp and Shield is the two piece from the Disco Rep so that gives me some extra healing. Okay, after weapons we've got the second one on the left is a Terran and we've got the Omni on the last one on the right so that Omni from House Martok um, so if you look at the engineering consoles now the third one from the left that is a two-piece so that gives me extra crit and accuracy right so on the left is the enhanced Dominion coordination protocol now this is a team console in my opinion it, but it also gives me 8% crit severity and 15% directed energy damage. Now, when you activate it, which is Fleet Maneuver Gamma, it provides a bonus damage of 15%. It also provides 60% flight turn rate, flight speed, strength, and also immunity to confuse, placate, and turn rate debuffs, which is really useful in a team setting. Uh, the second col console is from the Lobby store, which is the Altamide one, which provides crit chance and accuracy. Now the first engineering is also from the Lobby store, Weapon Sensor Enhancer, I use this for extra accuracy. The second console from the left in the engineering section is the obfuscation screen. Now this is from the Walker Light Exploration Cruiser. Now the way to use this console is either if you are hit very hard and you're really low on health about to die you can press this and sit there for 20 seconds and hope people fly away. Um, or on the other side you can use this for extra damage so when you come out of it um, after 20 seconds you get 20 seconds of 120% bonus all damage so it can be used um, the opposite way as well. Um, the third console on the engineering is the House Martok. Um, the fourth one from the left is whole image refractors now that is used for temp HP. The last engineering console is the enhanced induction coils from the bird of prey kdf side now that gives massive boost to weapons engines auxiliary and that lasts for 30 seconds and the cooldown on that is one minute so that is pretty pretty sweet console the first console from the science is on the left side is the dprm console which gives obviously healing a massive boost to damage and the second one is Protomatter, which again is a um, huge healing console. Now, with all of the builds that I will show in the future, which is to do with energy damage, uh, weapon damage builds, now you always really need a minimum of four tactical colony consoles. Five is a good number, six I think is overkill, but four is the bare minimum. Now, these tactical consoles do heal your... HP, your hull and your shields a lot. Um, so 4 is the magic number so always remember that. 
Okay, so this is the bridge officer layout. I've got a photonic officer one here. Now I do have points in my captain skills in readiness to help with cooldowns. Plus this also helps with my starship trait improved photonic officer. Now I've gone for tactical seating, beam overload three, delta for damage resistance. Below that in the engineering section, I've got pilot team, hold together and emergency power to weapons three. Now I've got a tractor beam up on the right hand side and below that engineering, orcs to sieve, emergency power to engines 3 and reverse shield polarity. Now if we look at the duty officers, I've got 20 of 47 twice. Now this helps when activating pilot skills to give accuracy and armor pen. I've got emergency con hologram which helps when I activate emergency power to engines so that will cool down my evasive maneuvers. I've got an aux to sif doff so every time I activate aux to sif it will placate. I've got Khalil who um, removes debuffs every time I activate an emergency power ability. And I've got the reverse shield polarity duty officer who will help increase the length of time. Traits from the top left I've got superior beam that gives me extra damage. Second is unconventional system so every time I use the tractor beam on the bridge officer ability it helps cool down my universal consoles. Uh, give you all for damage reduction. IAA. Um, to help with captain ability cooldown. Um, a good day to die, so every time I activate go down fighting, this is used at any hull strength, it would give me a damage boost. Inspirational leader plus 30 skills. Uh, repair crews for damage resistance and hull healings. Accurate for accuracy and context for kings for damage resistance and also damage buffs. Starship traits we have on the left first one is invincible now every PvP ship will need that trait and that is from the Lobby stall the Zal heavy cruiser next one is emergency weapon cycle for extra haste um, third one is improved photonic officer now that's to give me extra healing boost and also improve the photonic officer duration uh, fourth one is super weapon ingenuity to give me extra five seconds on beam overload fifth one rhythmic rumble to give me damage resistance and also um, weapon drain power cost and the last one is polarized lattice so if I take a heavy hit I'm gonna get a huge um, damage resistance and heal from that one Tem lastly reputation traits First one on the left is advanced targeting systems for crit severity, second one precision for crit chance, third one Landry's loyalty to remove debuffs, then fourth one is fortified hull, and the last one is automated protomatic conduits to give me extra shield regeneration and hull regeneration. One last thing before we finish. Always remember to use Miracle Worker Primary and Strategist Secondary. Now this is in order to gain a lot of temp HP from the whole image refractor console on your ship. Now you need to always remember to press threatening stance before you enter combat as all the healing from the tactical consoles and any healing that you do will increase the temp HP. I hope you've all enjoyed this video, if you did give it a thumbs up, if you also have any more questions and want to speak to me personally you can you know, go in the description and click on the discord link below and stay tuned because I'm going to be producing more of these videos so take care bye bye all.